Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got a good news that uh, Android 15 of CR Droid latest version got released already for the Galaxy A71 and I have flashed the ROM. The ROM is good. I have checked the Bluetooth connectivity, Bluetooth connectivity working. I mean to say if you want to connect wireless devices or gadgets with the Galaxy A71 having CR Droid Android 15 ROM, you can connect wireless devices with this ROM. And uh, the Galaxy A71 surprisingly updated to the Android 15. This is the CR Android version 11. Still, this is in beta release, but oh, believe me, ROM is working absolutely fine with no lag, with no bugs. I have checked the options and I have checked features. All things working absolutely fine. We are getting AOSP camera with the ROM. Camera is having no issue taking pictures, recording videos. And we are getting 4K video recording also with the 30 FPS and the front camera is also working perfectly we are getting the cr droid dialer and i have checked the call the incoming calls and the outgoing calls yes working fine also the dialer is providing a recording so we can record calls during conversation the recording calls is not having any announcement this recording call will be done without an announcement and the good thing is that the rom is coming device certified by default we do not have to root we do not have to make the device certified falsely because the device is certified by default and also the safety net is passed so this is what everyone likes to have it on the mobile phone the rom comes by default device certified safety net pass what else we like to do once you uh, flash the rom you will stick with this cr dwight and white 15 everybody everyone who like to have customized rom on the mobile phone they will going to flash the android 15 they are going to use the android 15 because the uh, galaxy a71 is not going to get android 15 one ui whatever uh, the samsung one ui coming but because officially updates are stopped but if you want you can still unofficially update your mobile phone from android 13 direct to android 15. the fingerprint scanner is working the face unlocking is also working yes i got many many messages regarding face unlocking working or not so we are getting gallery application over here and if you want you can download the applications direct from the google play store whatever you like you can just go for it galaxy a71 is having a different look getting the android 15 rom on the mobile phone so far i must say that absolutely perfectly rom for the galaxy a71 users those who have galaxy a71 4g mobile phone definitely go for this rom and uh, one more thing that I was getting a request that make a video show how to flash the CR Droid ROM with TWRP. Also, they are uh, having some issues finding the Google applications of Android 15, particularly for the CR Droid. So, I have provided links also in my description. You can download the Android 15 particular GAPS application for the CR Droid, which will work perfectly because this is what you can see that after flashing the rom i flash the google applications also to get the play store work and to get the login gmail account now how to flash the cr droid 11 version having android 15 on the galaxy a71 you must know this that you must have an unlock bootloader of your mobile phone without unlocking bootloader you cannot install anything so you must unlock the bootloader first 
and you need to save all the internal storage data whatever data you have must save it otherwise it will get format you need to check the mobile phone battery must be charged around like 30 40 50 percent so the mobile phone get the rom very easily and one more important thing is your mobile phone is supposed to be updated to the one ui 5.1 Android 13 stock firmware if you are having any custom ROM doesn't matter but your mobile phone wants to be updated to the stock Android 13 stock firmware Android 13 in case if your Galaxy A71 is having still Android 12 ROM do not try to flash it because the ROM will not boot right and sync your Google account once remove it to avoid any issues later right and also go to security privacy and then go to device and lock then select screen lock and then select swipe to turn it off to avoid any issues later on like booting into twrp well things done that we are supposed to do these things before flashing the custom rom now we can power off the mobile phone these are the files that we have to download for uh, flushing on the Galaxy A71. This is the CR Droid Android 15 ROM file for Galaxy A71 4G for mobile phone which uh, ha coming device certified and safety net pass. The NIC GAPS Android 15 ARM64 will be working on the CR Droid 15. Do not try to flash any mind the gaps or other gaps application on the CR Droid. It will not get flash. This particular NIC gaps CR Droid uh, official gaps application will be working and will get flash after flashing the CR Droid ROM. We need Odin and uh, this is the recovery provided by the CR Droid official website but uh, it is not working. Do not try to flash or do not try to download this beta 11.0 recovery file because I flashed this CR, the recovery file first my mobile phone was brick. Uh, I will not I even I was trying to flash the stock firmware the mobile phone was not getting uh, the stock firmware I, it was giving an error every time anyway I unbricked my mobile phone first then I flashed the TWRP recovery which works well and I flashed the CR Droid ROM particular this date release 6 11 2024 is having issues uh, with the Galaxy A71 maybe the CR Droid will release uh, other recovery the updated recovery will be having another date so you can go try that but if you want you can still flash the ROM with the TWRP one more thing that like in case if you are watching this video in future and if you are trying to flash the ROM with the TWRP and in case if you are getting any issue the TWRP is not letting the ROM to flash then you need to use the recovery CR Droid recovery provided by the official website this particular version that I flash got flash with the TWRP but I am not pretty sure that the latest upcoming release will be get getting flash with the TWRP or not right so this particular TWRP version is requires for flashing the CR Droid and Droid 15 ROM and VB meter disable tar file yes obviously the TWRP will be working if this file is provided in the Odin the links are all provided you can just click the link and download the files on your download the downloaded folder first of all extract the Odin then open the extracted Odin folder and double click the Odin file click OK on this pop-up window the Odin will open then click any slot but I will go for the AP slot then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will double click to select the TWRP file then I will click CP and same thing I will go back to my downloaded folder and I will double click the VB Meta Disable file for the Galaxy A71 only. Double click to select the file 
Odin is ready. Coming back towards the mobile phone. Mobile phone is supposed to be power off. We need to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer. Then connect the cable with mobile phone. Just wait for few seconds. The mobile phone will show warning screen. Release both keys immediately. Yes, we got. I got the warning screen. Now I will press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Press the volume up key once again to light up the screen. You can check the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. This is how the Odin screen is supposed to be like this. So the ROM will get flash easily, right? Now the mobile phone booted into download mode or you can say Odin mode. Cable is already connected. Coming back towards the computer screen, the Odin also detected the mobile phone. This is the sign, right? Now on the Odin, go to options and tick auto reboot first, then go back to lock and then click start to start flashing the recovery file on Galaxy A71. When you, sh when you see pass, which means done, click reset, click exit go back to the downloaded folder the mobile phone is supposed to be still booted into Odin mode now we have to boot the mobile phone from Odin mode to the TWRP check the cable must be connected right press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key just wait when mobile phone restart release the volume down key first and just wait now you can release the power key now just count one two three four five now release the volume up key and then immediately press it again one two three four five now you can release the volume up key just wait today the twrp recovery screen will get appears on your mobile phone now I will load the brightness because the brightness is too high. I got the internal storage on my computer screen. I will double click to check the storage is encrypted or decrypted. Yes, the storage is encrypted. The storage is encrypted. I cannot see any folders. We have to decrypt the storage first by tap Y then tap format data. Must do this step otherwise the things will not get flash. Then type Y E S and tap here. See the red lines. This thing will remove after this step done. Done. Okay. Go back. Just repeat the procedure once again. Okay. Done. Go back to main screen. Then tap reboot and tap recovery. We have to reboot the recovery. Okay. I will do the things once again. Now the internal storage got appears once again on my computer screen and this time definitely you will see a TWRP folder which means that the storage got decrypted and we can copy paste. Go to your downloaded folder, copy the CR Droid ROM file, copy the NIC caps, uh, caps application file from the downloaded folder. Then come to the internal storage of your mobile phone and paste both files on the internal storage when both files gets copied on the internal storage so we are done from the computer and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone then simply tap install you will see both files on your screen on your mobile phone screen select the cr dried rom file first by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing it just wait here when flashing gets completed go back then select Flash the caps application by tapping on it to select the caps file then swipe to start flashing it. The Google applications flashing also got completed. Now simply tap reboot system. The mobile phone will stay on this logo for a little long time and then soon it will start booting to the CR Droid and Android 15 ROM. Right? You can see that. Now we have to wait. It will not take that much time. Finally, first boot completed. Complete the setup screen. I got the CR Droid and White 15 ROM very smoothly on my Galaxy A71. We'll go to in, in display to change few things over here. 
and then I will go to about phone and white 15 same ROM uh, Galaxy A71 model number is A715F and white 15 CR white version is 11.0 beta release and build date build number we got the piece pen over here also so thank you for watching the video do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel also see you in my next video until then goodbye